Welcome to this mod review correction video with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Friday the 4th of December. I got it wrong. This is the Fent 250 GT uh, by Polo Freak 211, Puma, Bremi 456 and Peter AH. I did them a disservice and I did you guys that are watching a disservice. I looked at all the pictures in the mod hub, I read the description, the bit down the bottom on the description I thought was PC relevant only. Not that I ignored it, but then when I came and, and got the stuff out and I hooked everything up and everything seemed to hook up properly, but then didn't seem to work quite right. But thank you for the comments, thank you for the people that messaged me to let me know. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to get on, it's, this should take five minutes, maybe, somewhere around five minutes just to put the record straight and get this correct. Now, if you didn't watch yesterday, this is 37.92 megabytes download. For the vehicle itself, which is this, the Fent 250 GT is 29 slots, and there are quite a few configurations. The configurations and all the stuff I did on the mod review yesterday were absolutely right. It was just the attachments and how they hook up and that kind of thing I got wrong. There are two cultivators. There's a plow, cedar, planter, and a front loader. Now, in the instructions, it does say they have to be put on underneath, placed by hand. And like I said, I assumed, stupidly, that was a PC thing. And I, so I used the three-point link on the back, and it didn't work. Here's what you're supposed to do. You pick them up. You slide them underneath, like so. Drop it down without doing that. Same with the planter. Let's push that underneath. Let that go. Now, the one you don't have to is the cedar, because the cedar stands on the legs, and the front section there is narrow enough that you can drive over, or under, which is fine. There are a couple of things, provisos with that, but if we jump in here, we've got the option there to attach, so if I press X now, that's where it's supposed to attach. If I do it with this one, That's where it's supposed to attach. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? <laughs> and I also found driving them out, they didn't drag it along the floor like they did when they were on the three-point link on the back. So what we'll do is we'll just drive in with the cedar. Same with that. Now, the weird thing was when I attached these on the back, they all connected up. And this one even connects up and the PTO hooked up properly. And I couldn't work out why it went so deeply into the ground and it didn't, didn't seem to work right. That is how it's supposed to be and it puts that frame on so the proviso with these are if you go with this version with the loading bed the double loading bed or the bale one the attachments won't hook up it has to be an open frame so what i'll do is slide that under the same is also true if you go with one of these with the front loader option so if you've got the front loader frame attached they also won't hook up. So if I push that under there, hop into that one, no option comes up to attach. I've tried driving forwards and backwards, I can't get it to attach if you've got the front loader on. I also can't get it to attach if you've got one of the beds or you've got the um, bale loading platform. It doesn't come up with the X to attach. So it needs to be the open frame for it to work. But when you do, the weird thing was there wasn't a picture in the mod hub that showed one of these pieces of equipment attached like this. There was one with a front loader, there was one with a trailer, I think, on the back. I'll drop that down now, which is how it's supposed to go. I drop it down now. That's how it's supposed to go. Which is absolutely spot on. <laughs> Just goes to show, doesn't it? And then the planter. I oh know, I mean, I just wanted to show because the, the animations and how these hook up and work are absolutely brilliant. And I, I was just gutted that I missed it. 
and I thought you know what I, it doesn't matter I won't bother all I'll do is just mention it if I do a mod review today or tomorrow whenever the mods drop but there you go planting corn that works absolutely perfectly there is another thing that will also work very well with this it doesn't look right and there probably are alternatives but then we'll do the cedar as well because the cedar looks great too and what I will do is disconnect one of these and we'll hook one of the other implements up that wouldn't hook up to others just to make sure just to show that I was right that that's much better isn't it that actually sits on the ground rather than being two feet under the ground that's how it's actually supposed to be now the thing about this is PTO spinning look everything's doing what it should be doing which is absolutely brilliant now these don't have a very large capacity so I thought hmm I wonder <laughs> and this is an otherwise just a little bit bizarre out there sort of thing I wonder if I could hook something else up like a seed container now that is massive but it does hook up and it doesn't overweigh it I thought that's going to just the front wheels are going to lift off the ground there's no way it's going to work no, <laughs> that works perfectly there are a few of them available and I think there are some there might be some small ones I'm trying to think so if we go back to our front drop it down we can now carry on doing our seeding but now we've over 2,000 litres nearly 2,700 and it works brilliantly so like I say it wasn't that kind of it was a bit of a disservice to you guys it was a bit of a disservice or a lot of a disservice to the modders and I, you know I came away from it I didn't want them to think well they would know exactly how theirs was supposed to work but I didn't want people to think that their mods were no good because it was nothing to do with their mods it was just I'd got it wrong so um, what we'll do is move that out of the way if I grab the plow you'll now see or well, hopefully it's not just a problem with the plow but we should be okay if I take it to one that's just a frame without the uh, bottom bit put that under and then get in there we go oh that's the cult where is it but it's still you can see that it will hook up so there you have it the Fent GT 250 or Fent 250 GT with all the bells and whistles that go with it it does work it just needs to work like that um, I hope that's clarified things for, for everyone it certainly has for me I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching